Now at noon, dozens of firefighters battled a raging fire at a warehouse overnight. The flames destroying cars and boats in its path. CBS 4's Real Crane is live outside the business with the latest on what may have sparked this inferno. Real. Well, Mary Bell, that is all still very much under investigation. Meantime, the fire marshal was just out here, has declared this building to be unsafe after a fire tore through this place this morning and consumed this building. An inferno raging, moving fast, ripping through this Alipata business at 3 o'clock Friday morning. More than 50 firefighters, nearly two dozen units responding to the two alarm blaze. Urgent search and rescue turns up no one inside. The firefighters able to save three dogs in the midst of this. Fire shooting spreading out from every part of this building. Fire crews saw heavy flames coming, uh, realizing that the roof actually collapsed and they had to attack this fire in a defensive mode from the outside. Part of the roof gone. Flames and floating embers lighting up the night sky. Firefighters battled to try to drown it. Then I started seeing smoke rising little by little. I started hearing popping noise. It's what officials were worried about. The first look inside, the business full of cars and parts. The situation potentially explosive. There a lot of flammable liquids in there, oils. You have some vehicles that may have gas in it. And a lot of those things could contribute to the intensity of the fire. The hazardous materials team is brought in to douse it with foam. It took firefighters nearly an hour to knock it down after it was over. They continued to spray hot spots for hours more. Left behind, twisted, melted metal. The place gutted. And now with a daybreak, we're getting a better look at some of that damage inside. You can see all of these melted vehicles that are down below, all of the charred parts of this building. There are some parts of this building, it's worth pointing out, that were left virtually untouched. But uh, fire officials again say the building is uh, uh, not safe to enter anymore. One person we talked to did say that he saw two people running away from the scene. He pointed to arson. The fire officials, investigators say at, at this point they have nothing that exactly points to that, but it is all still under investigation. We're live in Alapata, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.